time for another video. Hey, it's time for another video. Go Brandy, go Brandy, go Brandy, go Brandy. <laughs> Y'all like that. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Brandy back again. Today's video is another wig review. This one is on a wig that I actually wore and I've been wearing for, dang, it's been months now, but I didn't show y'all first. So this will be a first for me showing y'all something that I've repurchased. This is the Nisha 202 wig. I bought this back in March. I went to a lingerie party and I needed a new type of wig. I wanted a certain type of look like a real va va voom type thing and i'll put pictures here so y'all can see what i'm talking about <laughs> your girl was hot <laughs> it gave but it was supposed to get you hear me so i've been rocking this wig i literally still wear it every day to work and i initially tried to do a video it came two days before the party so I was working and then I just couldn't film it the way that I wanted to and I did I do have footage of me doing it but it was trash uh, I went ahead and ordered another one and I'm like this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys and this way I can give y'all a true review completely about it because I've been wearing it for this long so again this is the Nisha but look at okay this is what made me fall in love and I was like there's no way this hair would really look like this it did it is a kinky texture wig, which is why I love it so much. It looks like natural hair. Like to this day, I still get compliments from people who see me a lot and they're like, oh, I love your hair. Oh my God, who did your hair? Like there's, they think that it's mine. They're like, oh my God, your hair grew so long. Thank you. <laughs> if only you knew. I ordered this wig from Amazon. I will put the link down below for you guys to get it. I did Amazon because it ships a little bit faster. It's the easiest thing. And I bought it from Altra. So Altra does have a storefront on Amazon. A lot of stores, a lot of like different places that you like do have storefronts on Amazon. And it's a lot easier sometimes that way because you get it in two days as opposed to them shipping it from a factory and you get it, shoot, in a week. So this is a synthetic wig and it's curled. That's what I really liked about it because I was like, I want a cute curled look, but not, y'all know what I mean. Usually I type in Altre first. Altre has some of the best kinky like textures of synthetic wigs that I've ever used, ever. So they're my go-to mind you this is my money they're not sponsoring this video i'm saying it's out of the love of outra they're my favorites because they always do it right let me show y'all what this looks like out of the box this is the lace those are the little curls in it try not to ruin the curls too much Ugh. Ugh. weird construction standard two clips here on the sides next to the ear tabs you have a clip here in the back and then there's also an adjustable strap back there which you know we're going to use l part um it's just an l shape this is one of them little hoops i'm gonna call it an l shape because i don't do all that but it's right through the center so it's only a it's not a a really versatile wig so if you like your parts on certain sides you're not gonna get it if I'm looking straight ahead it's on the left side I definitely recommend tweezing this because it is so thick you see how that looks you can't even see my hand that's right there you need to tweeze this like it it will not look natural if you don't tweeze it a bit I tweeze mine especially towards the front and I didn't tweeze it too much though because if the if the part is too wide and I'm gonna show you it look a little it look a little weird you could always fix it but i'm gonna show you what i mean what i did not like about the lace is it's so light you have to put foundation or something underneath this because that don't that don't go unless you're light skinned and even then it's just not believable the lace is uh has pretty wide like loops in it I'm not sure if y'all can see but the lace is pretty thick the holes are pretty large i'm going to show you guys what it looks like with me trying it on let me take this head wrap off i'm 
sorry i'm referencing the other wig that i have because i want to make sure i'm putting it on the right adjustable so right now i've been wearing it for two months and it's still like here i put the adjustable straps right next to each other i'm gonna show you guys but that's been working for me very well it's very secure oh come on now oh it's so soft and yeah, you can tell my old my other one is old because nowhere near as soft as this one all right so let me show y'all what i feel about these curls though they're so va va boomy like oh how the curls fall is just absolutely gorgeous like they curl upon themselves it's not super shiny where it doesn't look natural i love that the curls are already curled back this way like it looks like you went to the salon and got your hair professionally curled now what was an issue for me was how big this looked like the hair was huge when i wore it i didn't customize it past tweezing it but it's absolutely gorgeous this hair look i forgot this hair is so soft so soft it's soft but it still has that kinky feeling like it really feels like fresh out the salon hair back when i was getting perms so it makes me think of <laughs> but it feels so so good so i'm gonna go ahead and tweeze this off camera because it's gonna take a while i'm not gonna lie the first time i did it, it took me about 30 minutes to tweeze the part properly let me show y'all this is the old wig I tweezed the part I tweezed too much right here which made it look a lot thicker than it's supposed to look which is what I recommend not doing so be very careful with it the rest of it came out fine and then instead of tweezing everything I put powder there so it gave the illusion that it was a larger part than it really was without me taking all the hair out because then it would look a little bald so let me go ahead and finish uh let me go ahead and tweeze and i'll be back i literally just popped the wig on my head i haven't done anything special to it um i tweezed right here in the front i'm gonna go ahead and put this part where i need it to go underneath the best way for your wig to look really realistic is push it a little bit further back than your hairline goes and then part right underneath it So I'm going to take a brush and put some concealer in the part to make this look a little bit more realistic. Okay, I'm like, look, I hate when you have lip gloss and your hair gets stuck to the, honey, it just looks horrible. First thing I do is I blend it out with my finger. Nice clean hairline there. Nice clean, smart, smooth part. I'm going to just pull it back a little bit further here. And how far you pull it back is up to your taste. Again, I just like doing it because it makes the hairline look way more realistic. Because people be like, oh, you know, like you could tell this is my these are my baby hairs right there you can clearly tell then again i'm going to take my finger and just blend that out so that it doesn't look like i put concealer on my hairline so i'm using dark deep this is my powder i use for my face i want to put this on a brush i got any old brush i can find right quick i'm just going to pack that on the areas that i put the concealer Yes, my part looks a little bit bulky right now. Um, well, this area is a little bit bulky, but we're gonna fix that in a second. All right. So I'll also bring that powder down onto the hairline because if there is any concealer that you didn't really blend out as well as you want it to, the powder will smooth it out so it doesn't look so obvious, if you know what I mean. All right. So this is actually how I wore the wig. Like I had it this big 
just like this poofy and i don't look bad at all but this right here is so big it does not look realistic to my small head it was just a lot of hair and uh somebody actually comments was like yeah your hair was just it's really big you know they thought it was mine though <laughs> all right so with that i want to use a hot comb we are not hot hot combing like actual combing we're using the back part of it Now, just that alone, to me, made the wig so much better. Right there. Y'all already know. I always put my hair behind my ear. And this is pretty much the look. This wig is, oh, shh. you hear me? And out the box, because let's be honest, you really didn't even need to put the part into the wig. Like, this actually did not take me 30 minutes. When I first did the other one, and like I said, I'm going to put the other one on so you can see it. Like I showed y'all earlier, I, put, I actually tweezed a lot of this in here, which took me 30 minutes. I was too lazy to do that this time. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been doing a lot and I, I'm on time crunch. I took five minutes and I just tweezed a little bit here on the front part so that when I tweeze it, it looked more natural to me. And I used concealer. Like, not even a lot. And this is where we're at. Powder and concealer the goat hot comb just to flatten the top because i don't want to take the 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 nice fullness out of the hair itself and the curls since that's already been pre-done like do you see this gorgeous gorgeous it gives me va va boom like your girl just came from the salon and got her hair done hair done i look absolutely gorgeous all right now i'm gonna put the old wig on so you guys can see what it looks like now Okay, so this is the old version of that wig. As you can see, the curls are like down. The hair is a little bit thicker because I've had it for so long. By this stage, I started brushing out the hair because it does get a little matted in the back. So I'm brushing this down. It holds a curl for a long time because even with this being brushed out, do you see how beautiful this looks? It just looks voluminous. Um, like, ugh, it's just so full. And I wanted to pause the video here so you could see what that part looks like. I went a little ham on tweezing this first wig and the part is huge. I'm able to finesse this part when I put it on for work every day, but now that you see this compared to the new one, you see the vague difference in size. Like, look, you see that? It looks so good and it's still thick, so it's so pretty. I wear this wig to work. So this is what the ends look like curl the ends but i need to figure out how to do it without losing body um for people that don't know i have what is it a flat iron well it was this is a different situation it was kinky straight hair that i flat ironed and actually like you know flat ironed it. what else was i trying to say brady come on now anywho i flat ironed the wig and it lost some of its texture so i was afraid to curl this wig i do have curl formers that i want to use i'm trying to figure out I have to figure out how long I need to put them in the hair for it to work. And I wanted time, so I have another wig. That was one of the other reasons why I bought the other wig too. Because I actually want to experiment on how I can curl this hair back. I don't expect it to be like that, but for, to be honest, this is beautiful. I just want to get these ends so that the ends can curl back like this or something, you know? Like that. But it held like the curls for a long time. I didn't brush this out until I want to say two, three weeks ago. Right now, it is June. So you see what I'm saying? It lasted a long time. March, this was early March, mind you, when I got it. So I'm going to say March, April, May, June. So around May is when the third three months in is when I actually started to brush this out to have, make it have this look or whatever. It has gotten a little bit bigger. So actually, for work purposes, I'm actually going to flat iron this top just to 
bring some of this down a little bit because the body does not leave the hair. Let me tell you, Ooh, I'm gonna burn myself. See, even better. Like it just looks so good, so good. OMG. Y'all can't tell me this wig ain't bomb. Bro, I recommend this wig to anybody. This wig has had to have been out for a little minute. I'm not even sure how long it came out or how new this is, but this is probably my favorite wig next to Outre Tess. Let's talk about the longevity of the wig. Shedding, men don't have. I have not had any shedding at all with this hair. Like I'm, I'm genuinely trying to remember because I wanna make sure I'm telling you the right thing. You're gonna get, I got shedding right when you tweeze the, the part. You're gonna get a little bit, but once it's all out, there was really none. Um, this hair has not really gotten thinner. It got thicker, like I said before. I simply brush it out. Wig spray, y'all. A wig spray is gonna be really great, especially for this hair, because it is a thicker fiber. It'll soften it up a little bit more because with the new wig, I didn't even realize how soft it was to begin with. Um, it's still not bad now. And this is the wig people thought was my real hair. Like, oh my God, your hair is so thick, but it looks like it. The shine is amazing. It, it wasn't super shiny to begin with, but the longer you have it, the luster does go away, but it's not a bad thing. It's like, it gets better over time. No matter where I go, I get compliments. I love having thick wigs because my hair is naturally thin. I do not have thick hair at all. Um, I've been natural for a long time and I don't care. It's just not my hair type. I want it, it ain't there for me. So this is what I would imagine my natural hair being blown out, what I would have loved it to look like if I had thick hair. So if you're looking for that natural look, if you want something that's, it's it's a statement piece. I can dress this up and even dress down, this is still beautiful. Like the curls and all, if I did the full curls or not, it still looks amazing because it looks like you just got your hair done. And this is the old, do you hear me? Like it's popping months later. I'm happy that I got this wig first and tried it out before bringing it to y'all because I think this one is, Probably one of the best wigs. I feel like I say this a lot. I really do. Do I say this? Shoot, check me. Anywho, I think this is my one of my favorites. This is gonna go on the list of favorite things of 2021 because this wig gave me life. I literally feel like what I felt like when I first started doing wig reviews. This is the what I needed it to be. I'll try. Sponsor your girl and give me more because these, these. I gave you Outre Nisha twice. I gave you Outre Nisha old and new. Do you hear me? Still popping. Oh, look, I wear this wig every day and I'm looking at it like I just now seen it. So I'm gonna take this off and put the other one on. What I recommend you do, you can, I would say finger comb this top part just so it could do a little super run like you want it to. Do not comb the curls out of this wig. Let them fall naturally. Once they get to a point where they're like, all right, they look a little nap nap, go ahead and you can like finger detangle them to get them back to their state. Wait as long as you can to comb out the, um, the curls. I'm done fanning out about this wig. Please let me know if you guys have tried this wig, if you like it too, if you've had any issues with it, because sometimes I love a wig and y'all be like, oh no, something ain't go right. Let me know so that we can share with each other. Y'all know this is a community here. We're here to help each other. And if there's any more outre wigs that I haven't mentioned or don't know about, let me know. Or if there's another company that you think does wigs great too, let me know. I want to try everybody's stuff because bundles are so popular now but they're still so expensive i'm sorry i just don't my my bank account is set up to be paying all of that so i would love to hear different companies that have great synthetic wigs because this being a synthetic wig and looking like this this is worth my money and i'll put how much i paid for it like right up here less than 50 dollars on amazon amazon prime free shipping looking like this and they had to do no work really We'll put some concealer and tweeze a little bit on the top. I don't know, but this is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my date later today. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.